Hey, what's up, Savage Nation? Uh, so today we are talking about map skills. So make sure that you write down today's elo. Um, you don't have to worry about the EQ. Um, you should have your composition journal. Open it up. Make sure you write down your table of contents topic. Your table of contents topic for today is map skills. Today's date is 8-27-19, and the page number you need to be working with is page 5, okay? Um, I passed out your guided notes to you guys. Make sure you get those glued in your journal on page 5. Once you have them glued in your journal, turn to the back of this page. Fill out your do now. You have one, two, three, four questions, so those four questions should go in your do now section for today. All right, if you got to push pause on the video, push pause on the video to complete your do now. Get your LO down and get your notes pasted in your journal. All right, cool. Again, today we're talking all about maps. Um, so we're going to start off talking about the physical maps. Oh, um, say hi, fifth, per fifth period people. Say hi. Hi. All right, guys. So those are my fifth period kids. Anyway, um, today we're going to talk about maps. So let's start off with the physical map. Um, the physical map shows the natural features of the Earth. All right. A physical map is what you would see if you were floating in space looking down at the Earth. It just shows the natural features of the Earth. Real plain, real simple. Political maps, on the other hand, show countries. They show borders. They show roads. Um, they change all the time. <sighs> political maps change frequently. So a political map from 50 years ago wouldn't be able to be used today. All right, you wouldn't be able to use that today. If we were taking a road trip, a road trip across Texas, and we were trying to use a map from the 70s, we'd most likely get lost because we've added some freeways. Road names have changed. Political maps change all the time. Political maps change all the time. They do not stay the same. So discussion question number one, why do you think political maps change so much? If you got to rewind the video to answer that question, rewind the video to answer the question. Give me your answer in at least two sentences, all right? Please and thank you, thank you and please. Thematic maps. Thematic maps can be used to show all types of information. They can show how many people in our class prefer pepperoni pizza. They can be shown to show how many people in our class shop at American Eagle. They can be used to show how many people in our class don't like chewing gum. All right, thematic maps can be shown or can be used to show all type of information. The only catch is they can only show one piece of information at a time. So that's thematic maps. A compass rose just lets you know what direction you're going. It lets you know if you're going north, south, east, west, northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. It just tells you what direction you're going. The map here, legend, lets you know what the symbols on the map are used for. So if you were looking at a map and it had a star with a circle on it, you would use the map key to figure out what that symbol represents, which if we're looking at this map key on the screen, it would be the national capital, all right? Scale is used to help you show the distance on a map. So if you were looking at a map of Texas and you wanted to figure out how many miles were between Dallas and Austin, you would use the map scale to figure that out. All right. DQ2. Why is it important to have a legend on a map? If you need to rewind the video, rewind the video. Get this question answered. The author is the person who created the map. It's just like the person who wrote a book. That's the author. Same thing for the map. The person who created the map would be called the author. Longitude. My bad on the on the little I got hyper and I guess I put an extra E, but it's spelled longitude. Longitude is horizontal. Latitude is vertical. Alright? That's how I tell the difference. One goes like this, one goes like this. All right, so here's your DOL question number one. Here's DOL question number two. Here's DOL question number three. And here's your last one for the day. Get those answered. If you need to rewind the video to answer the other ones, do that. Push pause, get them done. I'll see you guys tomorrow.